The four-stall supercharger in Rapid City, South Dakota, is a coin toss experience. The outcome depends on when you arrive. On the westward leg of our trip, we arrived in the mid-morning. The Starbucks in the Rushmore Mall was open and we enjoyed the warmth of the food court as we had coffee, checked messages, and planned our day. Before we left, the other stores were beginning to open, and it was overall a very pleasant and relaxing experience. Our return trip was the other side of the coin. This time we arrived around 2 to 3 a.m. on a cold night and plugged in. The mall and nearby restaurants were closed, so no snacks, or more importantly, no restrooms in sight. A quick map search showed a common-sense service station on the next interstate intersection. However, it was a 15-minute walk under an overpass, past apartment buildings, and a bit of a no-sidewalk, steep hill climb to reach it. For two able-bodied men, it was cold and unpleasant in October. For those traveling alone or in colder or snowy conditions, the hike could be anything from intimidating to unsafe to impossible. So, this is another supercharger where you're going to have to use some forethought. If you'll need snacks, coffee, or restrooms overnight, making a pit stop at a service station or travel center will make your life much easier. When you cut your range close like we did, and you're focused on getting to the supercharger, it can be difficult to remember to take those extra couple minutes and miles so when you get to the charger, you're all set for a pleasant experience. Daytime travelers shouldn't have any issues, though, and it's an overall good stop, only 27 miles from Mount Rushmore.